today I'm going to be showing you how to get this winged liner and bold red lip makeup. It is a classic go-to makeup look for a special occasion or a night out. So watch for my tips on how to do winged liner and how to rock this bold lip. So I've already prepped my skin with moisturiser and primer. I love using this one. And then I'm going to go in with my favourite foundation and a damp blending bud. I'm just going to beat my face all around to really blend it out. I love this foundation because it helps cover out all my breakouts and my freckles really well. And it looks like skin. It doesn't give a cakey finish, which I love. I love this new look liner. Find products that suit you and also use a mirror that's a bit lower than your face. Don't use a mirror that's straight in front of you. I find it helps to look downwards because you're not distorting your eye, pulling it. So now I'm just slowly mapping out the liner. If you use it flat and go across your lid. If you use it flat, you're not going to be able to make many mistakes. It's just going to make the liner a bit thicker. And then to map out my wing, I go from the corner of my eye and map it between that and my eyebrow. That's the best reference I can give you. I find it really helps so it doesn't look too thick or long for my eye shape. And then to meet that line to the lid, I go about halfway down and then just drag it downwards and across to meet the liner on the lid. I find this gives a really sharp and clean wing bend. And then you can just build on top of the map that you've already created. So if you want it a bit thicker, you can do it thicker and just play around with what you've already mapped out and then you can fill it in. So now I'm going in with my sleek. I like to use a dip it one because I find that the liner is blacker then and you can get more product out. I like using the pens because they're easier to map out with, but then I do like to go over with a heavier product just to sharpen up the wing. As you can see, it makes it really sharp and fierce then. And then I'm just gonna go over on the lid liner just to make it a bit dark and fill it in. So these are the two favourite products that I like. Play around and find what works for you. So now I'm just going in with my highlighter. I'm using my HD foundation. I like to use this because it's really creamy and not too thick and it really brightens up the eye area. And I'm going to go in with a little blending bud and just blend that in. As you can see, I've already done my brows a well. I did film a brow tutorial whilst also filming this look. So if you want to go and check that out, I'll link it below so you can go and have a watch. And now I'm going in with my favourite translucent powder. I love this powder because it's really finely milled. I find that it's amazing for baking with and just to dust over all over as well. It gives a really bright and flawless finish. I don't have oily skin but I do like to go over it on my T-zone as well and where I have lines, so my smile lines for instance. I just find that it gives a really flawless finish to my foundation and it makes it last all day. So now I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution HD Pro Contour Palette. I've never used this before, this is the first time I'm using it. Um, I do find that my NYX palette is much better, but it's because I know how to work with that powder. I'm still learning how to use this powder and what portions to use. But it is really good and I'm happy with the finish. So I'm just using a big fluffy brush to dust off all the powder that I've been baking with.
and then I'm going to go back in with the contour powder around my temples, forehead, down my nose and along my jawline. I don't normally contour my nose but I was feeling adventurous today so I did it. <laughs> Blending in the nose contour as well now. Now I'm going in with one of my favourite bronzers. I love this bronzer, it's the Elf Studio Bronzer. And I'm just going over the contour where I've contoured. I like to do this because it blends the contour in a bit more so it's not like brown stripes all over my face. And it gives that glowy bronze look. Now I'm going in with my mascara just to blend the lashes in. I'm wearing Ardell Wispies. This just meshes the lashes together so it looks more like your own lashes and not like you actually have false lashes on. And I'm just doing the bottom lashes to even the look out. So now I'm going in with my Sleek Trio palette. I love this orange blush palette. I'm just patting that on the apples and working it outwards to blend in with the contour. Colour, it really gives a pop to my eye colour and it goes really well with my skin. So, I want to do a really red bold lip, so I'm going to start off with lining my lips with the red liner. If you're going to be using a bold lip colour, it's always best to start with a liner just so you can map out the shape. And if you want to, you can overline your lip. I don't tend to do this too much. I have a really big bottom lip, so I don't tend to need to do it. So I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede in Kitten Hills. I've worn this colour once before and I forgot how bright it was, <laughs> but I feel like it goes really well with this look. And the formula is amazing, it really blends on so well and it's so smooth to apply. Whoa, right. <laughs> so now I'm going back in with the Makeup Revolution Contour Palette and using the highlighter shade. I'm just going over the top of my cheeks, on my forehead, down my nose, and then my cupid's bow. And then a little bit on my chin as well. You can never have too much highlight, so I love to overboard it. <laughs> I find as well with a red lip, highlight really makes it pop. And now I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution Pro Fix. You guys know I love this setting spray. It's amazing. fan it out to lock it in all day. So that is the makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press a thumbs up and click down below to click subscribe. See you next time.